I think uh, a preparation is really important. You know, uh, Arthur's was studying at a, a local, very prestige uh, boys' school ever since his primary one until uh, form two, and now it's a very good school. But once we decided he would be studying abroad in U.S., we find that it's. Uh, it's more suitable for him to transfer to an international American school. So that is all along it's like an American system. So he would get used to all the system. So uh, from high school, we just transfer him from the local school to an international American school. Yeah. Okay, um, so my son is also an athlete, he's a tennis player. So uh, we, we've been doing some research and then we find out that, you know, uh, being as an athlete is, can really help him to get into a co good college on top of his good result from the academics. So we're working hard on the tennis side and as well as the academic side. For, for tennis, we try to you know, play a lot of international tournaments and so that he can uh, boost up his international ranking. And academic side, we just, uh, because he needs to travel a lot, so I think uh, to find a good tutor for him is really important so that it can save him some time for studying. So uh, while he's traveling, we can arrange Skype tutoring for him for doing his preparation for the exam or test. Uh, yeah, so, and as well as I think once you have been targeted that uh, which school he wants to get into, so we have to do some research on each of the different college, the requirements. Some need a lot of AP subjects, some need to have the subject test, or some, you know, it shows that what kind of score they require for the GPA or SAT or ACT. Yeah, so I think I would say uh, preparation is really important. Uh, I would say, you know, you have to really maintain a very high GPA. Yeah, because uh, most of the college, they really uh, look into that GPA. Yeah, if you want to get in like those top 10, top 20, even top 30 schools, you know, I think the GPA, at least you have to be high enough, like 3.85 or even, even higher. Yeah, yeah. So, and also the subject, you know, you have to choose some of the right subject for the major you're choosing for. Yeah. I think math uh, really helped Arthur is like to providing the right tutor for Arthur, you know, because Mrs. Lee helped a lot in his chemistry. And uh, once, in fact, uh, once we've been admitted, being admitted by, by U of Chicago, we have a conversation with Mrs. Lee and then we want to prepare some of the subject for, for the first year in U of Chicago. So uh, very lucky, you know, they, they, they you know, try to introduce some uh, University of Chicago students to help Arthur. They talk to him and they explain to him, you know, what subject and what preparation you have to prepare before that. So I think uh, that really helps a lot, yeah. Yeah, that's the mentorship. The mentorship, that's right, yes. He took six. He got the AP Econ, Micro and Macro, uh, the Calculus, uh, Statistic, uh, Chinese, Chemistry. I think SAT or ACT scores nowadays is really you know important for 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 getting into to those high high standard college. You know. Uh, the, some of the of them, I think they really maybe require almost like a full score, you know, because it's really very competitive nowadays. So I think at the same time, I think is to find a right tutor to help out in preparing the exam is really important. So what I did for my son is like, at least I take, I let him uh, prepare for six to nine months for the taking lesson to help out in the SAT. He do a lot of the drill, uh, the mob exam, all the things. So that is really important, I think, yeah. <laughs> I think it's uh, because like high school age is like teenage, you know, they have their own thinking. So I think it's most important is uh, 
we try to support him and show him that you're very supportive and then talk to him and also maybe you can try to find mentor to talk to him I think that is also help and uh, you try to explain to him that you know there's a lot of things you have to focus on and other than study I also encourage him to do some volunteer work to help out in the OH workout workshop and also maybe for his case he also help out in teaching some of the underprivileged children to play tennis so that can motivate him for for his target yeah thank you very much you're welcome you.